Lake Pedder Impoundment, located in Tasmania, Australia, was originally a glacial outwash lake with a natural catchment from the Franklin Range, just south of the lake. Although the new Lake Pedder incorporates the original lake, it no longer resembles it in size, appearance or ecology. The damming of Lake Pedder is considered one of the most controversial dam building episodes with opposition extending internationally. To meet increasing power needs in Tasmania back in 1956, the Hydroelectric Commission began looking for sites to harness the 2.5 metres of annual rainfall in Tasmania's southwest. Lake Pedder was the chosen site. Protests commenced when the Tasmanian government revoked the status of Lake Pedder National Park in 1967. The plan was to create Lake Gordon and inundate Lake Pedder by constructing three dams, the Edgar, Serpentine and Scotts Peak dams. Combined, these two lakes would form Australia's largest water storage, holding approximately 31 times the volume of Sydney Harbour. Despite the seven year campaign failing to stop this development, it transformed Lake Pedder into a national icon. The protests led to the formation of the United Tasmania Group, who were the precursors to the Tasmanian Greens, the world's first Green Party. Not long after, they led the campaign and won the fight against the Franklin River being dammed. Eric Rees, the Premier of the state at the time, approved the flooding of Lake Pedder, claiming it was more important to supply the demand of Tasmania's growing industry and community than to protect a national park. This is despite being offered a blank cheque by Australia's then Prime Minister, Gough Whitlam, to preserve the Lake Pedder area. The Gordon River Dam Wall, a 140 metre high concrete arch dam using double curvature, was completed in 1974. Water is fed through a 137 metre vertical shaft from Lake Gordon and sent downstream into the Gordon River through a 1.6 kilometre tunnel. The Gordon Power Station is 183 metres underground and it has 432 megawatts of generating capacity supplied by an 80 metre vertical channel. The damming of Lake Pedder resulted in two endemic species of invertebrates being placed on the IUCN red list of threatened species and the Pedder galaxias, an Australian freshwater fish, is considered extinct in its natural habitat of Lake Pedder. Also submerged was the distinctive pink quartzite beach scattered with Pedder pennies, small quartzite stones rimmed by theromanganese. Although a 1995 federal parliamentary inquiry found it feasible to restore Lake Pedder, they also stated there was no compelling biological conservation or environment protection reasons for restoring the lake. The fight continues by the Restore Lake Pedder group, amongst others, to have the lake drained back to its original state. More current research suggests the beach and dunes are still intact and covered by only a few millimetres of sediment and the peat soils needed for revegetation in the area is also still intact. These results also suggested the draining of the impoundment would result in more streams and habitats for species such as platypus. Although there are many positive ecological impacts, the potential negative impacts must also be considered. These include the drawdown of the water currently contained in the impoundment, potential erosion, and loss of jobs for those working in the power station and peripheral services and businesses for visitors to the area. The loss of 432 megawatts of generating capacity, providing electricity to over 50,000 homes and businesses in Tasmania will also need to be replaced. The replacement may present a series of further negative impacts to another site for the same or different form of renewable energy. For 50 years, the damming of Lake Pedder has remained a controversial issue.